Ladies and gentlemen, placings are complete in our senior three-year-old cow class. We'll begin with our junior awards. Second junior goes to entry 1044, Ratliff Minister Crystal, exhibited by Sawyer and Olivia Brandenburg of Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Entry 1040 is your winning junior. She's Underground Dominica Mammy, exhibited by Regina Posey of Petaluma, California. In the open show, our production award winner goes to entry 1046, Show Me Giller Trina, exhibited by Derek Leon Page of Mount Vernon, Missouri. And our bread and owned award winner goes to entry 1036, Miss Triple T Serenity, exhibited by Triple T Holsteins of North Lewisburg, Ohio. And the top three in our open show are as follows. Third place is 1045, Underground Hazel's Holly, exhibited by Jacqueline Booth of Central Square, New York. And in second place, entry 1052, Mary Noel Excite Rosie, exhibited by Ernest Kiefner and Terry Packard of Boonesboro, Maryland. And the best daughter and winning entry is entry 1060, Page Crest Excitation Carly, exhibited by Arethusa Farm of Litchfield, Connecticut. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's clap big and loud here. This is a great class of cows. We got great udders, cows that spell milk all the way down the line. The first cow, she's the epitome of a balanced dairy cow. I just love the frame of this cow. I love the balance of this cow. Take nothing away from the second cow. What a long frame, beautiful dairy cow with a long dairy neck as well. The first cow, what a mammary system. Just incredible mammary system. Welded on the front udder, high and wide of the rear, great quality in that udder, great teeth placement, great ligament. Um, she's not the biggest cow in the class, but she's big enough for me. She's got that beautiful, beautiful blending of parts all the way through. Get to the front view of these two cows. The first cow gives me that little more width right in the chest. She's just a little fuller and higher to the top of the rear udder today over the second cow. And uh, just ever so slightly from the loin back to the pins a little nicer than the second cow but take nothing away. The second cow, you just love the quality of this cow, the length of her neck, and it's a height of her chine, and strength up through the front end today that carries her over this third cow. She's a little nicer on the floor of her udder as well, but boy, this third cow is a true blue dairy milk cow, a cow you just love for the quality uh, in her hide and the, the milkiness about that cow. And today, it's a bloom and, and width of her udder and quality of the rear teats today that carry her over this very youthful cow we have coming out in fourth. Fourth cow, she's just got a calf again. But what a beautiful, long, beautiful, stylish, long frame, quality cow. And she has the advantage to me today over the fifth cow in her bone quality down through her rear leg. She's just a little nicer quality right through that rear leg today than this beautiful long-bodied cow we have coming out in fifth. The fifth cow carries over the sixth cow. The advantage she has on a little more venation on that four udder, a little nicer attachment of the four udder, a little more height of chine than the beautiful dairy cow that follows out in sixth. Just a beautiful class of cows. Congratulations again to all these exhibitors. Thank you.